Folks, hello, and welcome to Tavern Chat. It's the more or less daily, sometimes multiple times a day, uh, vidcast and podcast, uh, addressing all things in our tabletop gaming world. Sometimes a little bit beyond because, well, sometimes people in our little gaming world go a little bit beyond. In this case, we are looking at the unmortal. Uh, Kickstarter. Unmortal, Out of Time. Short film. Uh, starring Al Snow as Josh Van Elzen or whatever the fuck. In any case. Now, why is this important? Why am I bothering to bring this shit up? <sighs> because Ken Whitman is a fucking whack-a-mole at this point. Alright? Ken Whitman, uh, this is and, it, and listen, this looks like very well-aged whiskey. It, it, it is well-aged, but it's about three weeks of cinnamon sticks in it that made good whiskey even better. So, so, so Ken, thank you for encouraging me to drink before doing this cast. Now, you look at this Kickstarter, and it's run by somebody named Robert Costner. They're looking to raise... $2,500 to do this short flick that they hope will turn into a made-for-TV movie or on-demand series. Now, the last project that Ken Whitman was involved in on Kickstarter was another, uh, I guess, indie movie deal. Um, and he was involved as Whit Whitman. And he was not the one on the Kickstarter funding page. He was behind the scenes. But he was the writer. <laughs> oh, 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 forgive me. Forgive me. Um, he was the alleged writer. Because that movie was taken down, uh, The Whitler, or The Whitley, or whatever the fuck it was. Because his former uh, roommate, uh, name forget. forget it was the founder of Dragon Con who was convicted of owning child pornography actually hit Ken with the takedown notice for copyright. So maybe Kenny didn't write it, right? Maybe Kenny, maybe he remembered his roommate writing such a similar story and said, this is mine. Well, here, this is something that Kenny cannot help but say this is mine. And why do I say that? Well, little history on Kenny or wit or Witless, or whatever we're going to call his name these days. Uh, there are many pseudonyms, but uh, and, and, and again, Kenny's like a whack-a-mole. He thinks we're stupid, but his ego gets him into shit ton of trouble because he can't help himself. So, up here in the middle of your screen, for me it's to my right, um, we have the unmortal out of time uh, and it's a little trailer. And I'm Al Snow. We hope that you'll join us in the making of the short film Unmortal, Out of Time. Without you, this isn't even possible. At all. So thanks. By the way, I'm going to point out that right now they are filming in somebody's dining room. Uh, maybe it doubles as a, a hairdresser or a barbershop since we have a barbershop. Uh, pole behind. I, I like to make the uh, joke that it's a stripper pole, but no, it's a barbershop pole. Uh, this little... If this is any indication of how the indie film is going to be filmed, it's painful. It is painful. Now, the fact that they already have uh, seven backers and raised over $1,100 it tells me that there is a lot of self-backing going on, or self-flagellating, or some, 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 some such. But now, let's return to this uh, little intro video of nothing. Please, we really do appreciate all of your support. Thank you. For now, you can check out this short teaser trailer for Unmortal. Now, now, to me, a short teaser trailer would actually have something of substance involved in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't. It's got a little flash and a static image of one of the actors in their name 
and maybe some words on the screen, but there's nothing that's been filmed. Okay, there's but that's not the important part. The important part is coming right up. Oh, and, and Kenny, by the way, this is fair use. Uh, so if you tell your crack legal team that, oh, my God, Tenka took my shit and didn't use it, uh, used it improperly to make me look stupid. First I off, Ken. Hate the crack. Well, I'm not doing my Ken Whitman smokes crack voice. I'm sure Ken can do his own voice for that. However, I am doing the Ken the Whit Whitman thinks the rest of the world is fucking retarded and does not know what the law is. I happen to know what the law is. I happen to be involved on one side of the law for a number of years in my prior occupation. Uh, Kenny has learned this with his empty threats. By the way, folks, yes, Kenny has threatened me not just with uh, the FBI being at my doorstep and uh, filing uh, criminal charges against me, he also uh, threatened to uh, hit me with a takedown uh, because of using his image uh, without permission. Uh, Ken, you don't, by the way, as this is just a reminder, you don't own your image. Your images are owned by the photographer unless they sign them over to you. So again, uh, to Ken for making me drink. I, I should make this into a drinking game, really. But then I'd make it never make it to the end of a 10 minute video. Because I'd be under the table. We wouldn't want that. So let's go, let's go back to Ken. Out of time. Out of time. See ya. Regretfully, we're not out of time. Alright, so post hoc productions don't know what the who the fuck they are. By the way, this is the flash that you're gonna get. I'm not gonna show the full trailer because uh, believe it or not, I do have mercy on your soul. Ken may not. But I want to show you something. It's going to be right after this. In association with Little Monsters Entertainment. Little Monsters Entertainment is Ken Whitman. This is an LLC that apparently, if you check out um, notanotherdime.blogspot.com, one of the, uh, aside from what I do, this is probably the best coverage of Ken Whitman and his utter fuckery, then I... <clears throat> hey, Ken, Ken, you're making me drink again. My throat's getting hoarse. Not another dime. Blogspot.com is great coverage for the fuckery that is Ken Whit Whitman. And it's not a ledger fuckery. This is an actual tracking of his fuckery. So, um, Little Monsters Entertainment is Ken's LLC <clears throat> with one problem. Apparently it's expired. So um, Ken is about as invalid as he usually is, which is not a surprise. So an inquiry was made to Robert Costner. Robert Costner, come on down. You're the next contestant on. I'm getting fucked by Ken Whitman without a reach around. Um, here we go. Thank you for reaching out to me. Our company has contracts with many independent companies, actors, and crew members. And we do run background checks on all our contractors. Mr. Whitman has no legal or criminal activities on his record. Mm hmm Okay. During past meetings, he seems... Very respectful to all that attend. I guess he's on his Adderall. Keeping his attention deficit in order. Letting him stare at the wall. I do know of his past Kickstarter failures and assure you that Mr. Whitman is not involved with our company's business practices and is merely part of the creative team along with several dozen other talented contractors. Once again... Thank you for your concern, and have a wonderful day. You ever want to be told to go fuck off? You ever want to be told, uh, pound fucking sand, yeah, don't, don't point the shit out to us? We know. We know. But we failed our save. We're, we've been charmed. So, again, I've, I've, I, here's what I'm going to recommend, okay? 
Unmortal out of time short film on Kickstarter. Why don't we all back for a buck? Give them like, oh my God, we've got, look at this, 50 fucking backers. Yeah, and they all back for a buck and they're all going to cancel before you fund. Because, you know, everybody wants to, I mean, they've got no updates, they got no comments. Punished by the gods, a disillusioned warrior seeking redemption must travel back through his lifetime and undo his evil actions that destroyed the world. With your help, we can create a 10-minute fantasy short film that would allow us to make something bigger, longer, and potentially a feature-length movie or TV show. Now, uh, who better than former WWE superstar Al Snow? Okay. All-star cast includes John Wells, don't know, Darren Lee Cup, NASCAR team owner Matt Tiff. Now, listen, owning a NASCAR team means that I'm going to make a guess that you uh, were swindled into uh, footing the bill for a large amount of this because obviously you have money to spare. And Keith Migra. So, uh, dare I say, too, looks like a lot of white men involved in this project because we don't need to have any kind of diversity. Oh, that's right. We have Ken. So we have somebody that is certainly mentally challenged involved in our project. Oh, shit. What? Ken himself says he has uh, CTS. C yeah, CTS, uh, CTS, which can only be diagnosed upon death. death. But let's cut your brain open. I'm still, I ain't quite dead yet. Well, you can't tell the difference. Oh, look. Here it says that you have brain trauma. How, can, how do we diagnose that and you're not quite dead yet? So, what else are they going to create? Welcome to the world of Unmortal. It's a world of a thousand stories to tell. We are currently developing multiple storylines and hopes to create more short films, movies, and, you guessed it, folks, TV shows, because Kenny's been involved in so many successful ones. We are working with companies that are developing comic books, tabletop RPGs, live-action RPGs, board games, and more. So you think that Kenny is not going to be the one that will be involved in the licensing of this IP to uh, tabletop RPGs? But this is it. Come on. Kenny is going to reach out to somebody in the industry who he hasn't totally fucked over yet and doesn't realize on their part that they're going to get fucked over. And Kenny will just listen. Just put your name Put your name on the Kickstarter, and I'll stand behind you as the puppet master. Nobody will ever guess it's me behind it. Yes, Kenny, we will fucking know it's you behind it. Because, again, Kenny has a big undoing, and that's his big, fat head. I mean, his ego. All right, well, both, his head and his ego. He can't help himself. Kenny literally can't help himself. Now, what's going to happen is Kenny's going to see this and the accompanying blog post, and Kenny's going to comment. Now, if Kenny doesn't comment, I would say give him plus one to his or dumpstat intelligence because he must have somehow found a little bit extra. Because usually what happens is, uh, you know, I I I I I poke the alleged uh, thief and con artist, alleged, and uh, he can't help but respond and 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 say how I'm wrong. But Ken, I'd love for you to tell me. How the fuck I'm wrong? Seriously, tell me I'm wrong. So who is Post Hawk Productions? You make fantastical movies and television shows. Not that we've made any such yet, but that's what we do. Uh huh. Uh, by the way, they don't mention Little Monsters here in the Kickstarter because, again, Kenny is uh, toxic. Kickstarter doesn't give a flying fuck. All right, let's be honest. Keep Kenny's name off the project officially, and you can do what you want. But uh, this is one to follow, so I will be following. And uh, I don't know. Will they be able to figure out that it is me that is following the project when I back for a buck? Will they allow me to stay as a backer for a buck to follow the updates that likely won't happen? And by the way, this short film 
uh, is being shot in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you are someone that is owed a debt by Ken Whit Whitman, it is most likely that Kenny has been in Louisville, Kentucky, and will be for the immediate future. This is not a doxing, okay? If you have legal issues with Ken and you need to properly serve him, this is most likely the place to serve him. I know that people have been talking about legal action against Ken. I don't have any legal action against Ken, okay? Being a jackass and a fool, uh, being, being an alleged thief and alleged scam artist on projects that I didn't back because... My spotty sense told me, oh, man, this is going to be a shit show. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I've been lucky. So uh, if you feel that Kenny has put you in a, in a situation where you need to legally serve him, I, I would somehow look in Louisville. Just a thought, just a thought. All right, folks, on that note, we are still in the midst of the world of COVID. So, please, do yourself a favor. Um, take common sense precautions, all right? You can't keep yourself, your loved ones, healthy and safe if, if you're not healthy, right? You can't help others if you're sick. So, please, common sense. Be safe, be well. God bless each and every one of you, even Kenny, because you know what? Kenny probably needs God's blessings more than anybody else that is listening because, you know, he has a few deficits he has to overcome. I don't think, I think common sense is one of them. Uh, knock on wood. I'll be back again tomorrow with Bad Mike and Crossing Our Fingers, uh, Tom Canals as a special guest. All right, folks. On that note, later.